Hello everyone, uh, in this video we are going to see that how we can uh, restore the IMEI of your Redmi Note 8 Pro. So guys, in this video I am going to show you that how you can restore both the IMEI for your Redmi Note 8 Pro. So first thing uh, what you have to do is you have to come to this particular uh, GitHub repository. Now I will give you the direct uh, zip file link in description, you just don't have to come over here again and again. I'll give you the download zip so I you have to come over here you have to click on download zip but no issue I'll give you the da directly downloaded zip in the description you just have to go uh, to the description and download the zip this whole zip over there so guys after you download the zip you will have to extract it so after you extract it you will get folders file like this okay except this out uh, folder you will get all the rest remaining folders here you can see this these are all the folders here it is not there is no out folders here right so you will get all these folders, all the, all these files, and these two folder. So first thing, what you have to do is you have to come to this. Are you 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 can see this config doc txt. So you simply have to double click on this thing, okay. And here uh, you will have to enter certain values, okay. Now, uh, okay, guys. So now here you can see uh, there is uh, this file called as config doc txt which is basically a text file so you simply have to double click on this thing and here you can see that there are certain values which you need to fill okay so basically this chip id from be beginning from the chip id till the bluetooth mac id all these five fields will be blank so you have to search for all these five fields from your device itself and then you have to fill it over here so guys now let's see that how we can find all these things so for the for getting the chip id what you have to do is you have to install termux in your redmi noted pro okay so uh, let's see one by one that how to find the chip id then we'll see that how to find the imei uh, sorry how to find the uh, wi-fi mac address how to find the bluetooth mac address and then guys make sure that you have your imei as the backup because if you don't have the imei then okay we'll see that thing we'll come to that case also but as of now just to ensure that you have your imei backed up okay so now now guys first of all let's find our chip id and let's second thing is that let's find our wi-fi wi mac address and bluetooth mac address okay so uh, let's uh, let me go to my redmi Note pro and let me show you that how to find it so guys here i am on my redmi Note pro and guys currently i am using the bliss rom uh, let me just show you so i'll go to this android here you can see this bliss version 16.6 and uh, this is basically official build and the android and the kernel version which i'm using is the hydra okay guys and now guys uh, here you can see this my 4g it is showing it means that my uh, imei has already been restored by using this method and then i'm making the video so guys this method is 100 percent tested and 100 percent working okay now guys uh, let's see that how to find the uh, the our uh, chip id so for finding the chip id guys make sure that your device is rooted okay guys here my device is rooted let me show you so i'll go to the root checker i'll click on verify root and guys here if you see if i grant the access so here you can see this my device is rooted so guys the very first step is that make sure that your device is also rooted so after your device is rooted you have to come to the google and here you have to find the turbux app basically this turbux app you can see so you have to find this thing now guys after finding this thing just scroll down over here and there is an option to download this thing so when you will scroll down this version 0 0.118 there is an option called as download apk so simply click on that one now i have already downloaded it i am not going to download it again okay here you can see that i have already downloaded it so i am not going to download so after downloading uh, you will have to simply click on install so after you install it you will find an application or you can see icon like this one okay now guys uh, here in this icon what you have to type just i'll give the uh, code in the uh, code in the uh, video i'll add it in some part of the video or if you are not finding it so uh, let me uh, type it over here so that you can uh, understand it so I'll, uh, you have to type get okay prop space ro dot boot dot chip id okay so this is the code guys please check it out once again that this is the particular code which you have to put in your uh, termux and then simply when you will press the enter so you will get the result now guys i am not uh, pressing enter because uh, uh, my chip id is different your chip id, uh, chip ID is, is different okay so that is why guys i am not going to play uh, just pressing the enter but guys believe me this is 100 percent working simply press the enter and you will get the result okay guys so from here you can find the chip id now moving on to the bluetooth and mac address so how you will find that thing so guys you just go to settings here in the about phone okay
Guys, after you come to setting, come to the about phone section over here, and guys, here you can see this device Wi-Fi Mac Mac address and Bluetooth address. So from here, guys, just make sure that here it is showing unavailable. But after you click turn on your Bluetooth. After you turn on your Bluetooth, these two address will become available. Now, guys, I can't show in the video because, guys, uh, uh, everyone has a different MAC address and everyone has a different Bluetooth address. So I just cannot show that thing. But yes, just if uh, as soon as you turn on your Wi-Fi, even it is connected or not, and uh, you will get your Wi-Fi MAC address. And guys, in case of Bluetooth address, just turn on your Bluetooth, and uh, you will get the Bluetooth address, irrespective of whether you have connected to any device or not. Okay, guys. Now let's uh, go to the our PC and uh, let. Let me explain you further things. So, guys, here I am on my PC. After finding the uh, Wi-Fi MAC address and guys the Bluetooth address as well as the chip ID, which I have told you that how to find it. Okay. And guys, here you can see this in the comment section. Also, it is given that we have to run this particular code, or you can say this thing in our terminal. That is the Termux. Okay. To get the chip ID, so from there we can get the chip ID. Now, guys, we have the Wi-Fi uh, uh, MAC address, Bluetooth MAC address, and chip ID. Now, guys, the remaining two is the IMEI. Okay, guys. So now let me talk to you that whether you have the IMEI or not. So case one can be like whether uh, case one can be that okay, like you have your IMEI address. Okay. So you can simply put it uh, on in this uh, over here, and you can simply uh, flash it. Uh, I mean. Uh, uh you can simply put it over here and you can save this thing now guys what about those who do who don't have imei address okay so if someone who don't have imei address or they might have lost it so what you can do is i'll give the link to the website directly of this particular website okay and guys here you can see like guys uh, let me tell you that i am not promoting any illegal stuff this is just for the helping purpose this is just for information purpose so please you do please de please don't de uh, demonetize my video thank you so this is uh, guys i will give the link to this particular website in the description you simply have to come over here and here you just have to do some captchas and all and simply click on generate imei okay so guys after you click on generate imei what will happen is that it will start to generate the imei okay so guys here you can see that there are n numbers of imei which has been generated you simply have to copy any of the number or any two of the imei and paste it in your over here okay basically in the imei 1 and imei 2 you just have to paste it in these two portions okay guys so i hope that this is clear that first thing is that you need bluetooth mac which i have already shown how to get it make sure that you have the wifi back now guys make sure that you don't use any other uh, device wifi or bluetooth mac because guys that may create issue because uh, your motherboard has a different uh, wifi and a bluetooth mac address and if you put any other mac address so it will not detect okay as a result of which this process will not be successful so you need your own device wifi or bluetooth mac as well as the chip id okay now moving on to the imei so i already told you that if you have your imei so you can simply put it over here if you don't have your imei so you can uh, you make use of this website and you can uh, select any of these two okay guys many uh, this is banned in many of the countries this uh, putting any other imei but uh, if you want to restore your device so obviously you will have to do it so guys after you have uh, successfully entered all the data in this particular field for example in from the chip id from the both the imei and uh, wi-fi mac address and Bluetooth address after you have entered all these five fields now you have to simply cut this thing from here and here you can see this uh, cmd which is mtk imei dot cmd mtk underscore imei dot cmd so you what you have to do is you simply have to double click on this particular uh, this particular thing okay guys so after double click on this thing you will get guys uh, you will get something like this okay you will get a screen like this where, where you will see that there is success over written over there okay now guys what you have to do is you have to after you click on double click so you will get a new folder uh, which is name which is named as out so you simply have to double click on this thing and here you can see this uh, there is a zip file which has been made now guys what you have to do is you have to simply copy this zip file to your redmi noted pro and guys make sure that uh, your device is unlocked because obviously if you have twrp it means that your device is unlocked so guys uh, you simply have to flash this particular file in your redmi noted pro by the means of twrp recovery so guys this is how you will restore your imei and guys this method is 100 percent working and guys if you are facing any errors please drop drop me a text from telegram or you can drop your query on youtube so thank you so much for watching guys and just make sure uh, that guys uh, this uh, method uh, is only useful for the ROSS based room for example uh, the latest rooms the latest kernels it supports all kernel it even it also support hydra kernels also hydra kernel also support this particular method for watching just if you are new to the channel then make sure that you subscribe because for more amaz amazing tips and tricks and also guys for new custom roms